How's it going guys, me David here for another shave and today I have a unobtainable item today, um, a very highly sought out item. It is not mine, I didn't purchase it, I got it from a buddy of mine to borrow. I got this baby right here. For those of you guys that don't recognize it, and most of you probably won't because it's just not a very uh, common item out there, this is the head for a Los Angeles shaving soap company, BBS1. So very uh, highly sought after razor, um, got this from my buddy Zach, and for those, uh, interesting story how he got it, pretty much early on when Mongoose razors were out, he had a, a, a Mongoose razor, and I guess whoever had this thing really wanted a Mongoose really bad, and he traded his Mongoose for this BBS one head. And he's had it ever since, and he loves it. It's one of two razors that he uses regularly. He likes aggressive razors, so he usually uses this BBS-1, or he uses a Mula R41. So, just so you kind of see, very basic minimalist design. Not a whole lot to it. It has the LA Shaving Soap Company logos on each side of the base plate, around the hole. You probably can't see the lettering great or make it out at all, but it does say Los Angeles Shaving Soap Company, and again, a pretty basic top cap. Has these posts again instead of having a post out here, it has uh, like an old Gillette, some old Gillette models. It has the the notches on the outside in order to hold the blade in. Uh, I'm still in my testing of the Persona 71, uh, 71, 74 blade, the tungsten blade. This will be shave 13 on it. So here it is. Been using it in a Rockwell. Today I'll be using it in this razor. I'm just anxious to get done with this already because. I've been cheating. I've been using some straight razors um, in the mix, which is take, making it take a little longer, but it's just hard for me to use a damn DE so many times in a row. So I'm going to use this today. See? Closes in nice and tight. I do like that side post design. It's a very unique uh, thing um, for modern production razors. So I'm going to check it out. I'm just going to throw this random stainless steel handle that I have laying around on it. And there it is. You can see a pretty good look at the blade gap and exposure there. And let's just see how this thing goes. Again, this is such a... Everybody wants it. And I think we just get so damn excited. And, and we just get ridiculous about stuff that's unattainable. Those rare items. As if we really ever keep anything in collector's form. We usually use the shit. So it's just more of... I don't know. We have a, we get a little sense of pride and hard on forgetting stuff that's hard to get. And um, so yeah, this this razor has been a real big deal uh, as of late. With Wolfman razors blowing up the way it is, the manufacturer of the BBS one is the same gentleman that does the Wolfman razors. So with Wolfman razors being as uh, as uh, big and highly sought after as that one, those are still in production. This I'm not sure if LA Shaving Soap gets any more of these designs or not. Um, but you know, and since I didn't have a great showing with the LA Shaving Soap uh, company. So last time, I'm giving it another chance. I did use it again yesterday. This is going to be my third day in a row. So I have it pretty dialed in. Got a better uh, lather out of it yesterday when I used it. I used my uh, my Fader 2 band knot, my custom from um, Kelly Hogan over at Black Ship Brewing. And I got a great, great, a great lather from it. I just, you know, I guess I just won't change my lathering technique. I, I used a little bit different of a technique. And I thought I lathered for a long time, but it just didn't do it. Again, this soap isn't bad, but again, it's not great. It's, um, again, just for me, it's, uh, upper middle of the road, you know, so there's a, there's a, uh, you know, there's those soaps that, that perform solid, but they just don't thrill you. Uh, that's what it's been for me. It's, it's, again, it's solid. There's nothing I can say real bad about it. Um, we'll put that first bad lather on me. Um, or at least the stability, the how it died out earlier. We'll put that on me. It's probably my fault. Um, but yeah, it's just... Yeah, nice heavy load. Don't want it to have an issue this time. I'm gonna whip my face here. 
I had totally forgotten that Zach was gonna let me borrow this razor, so I did not. Like, I would have let my hair grow out a little bit more. I actually shaved yesterday, so it's gonna be three shaves in a row. Um, this is a more of an aggressive razor, so I wish I would have had more hair growth to really test it out, but using it's just part of the fun, so. And Zach really likes it. Get all that excess. So it looks like a load of plenty. Shouldn't have that issue with um, with dying out on that second lather. Also, I'm using a synthetic brush, and um, this black these black wolf knots shed a lot more than I really would expect a a synthetic to to do. It's kind of interesting. Like contrary to what um you know some people say I have had uh shedders from synthetics but this one's been a little bit more than I really had thought. It doesn't bother me all that much, but it is a little surprising. Alright, so here we go. My first and probably my only use of the BBS one. Um when I asked Zach to let me borrow it, he looked at me as if I asked for his firstborn child. So um you know, I think he was a little nervous to have uh, the special item out of his den. He advised me to use a little bit more of a straight up and down angle. I'll tell you right now, this Persona 74 is probably the smoothest blade ever. Again, this is an, known as a more aggressive razor. Some people have been chopping themselves to absolute bits. Um, using this razor, man, but it's just, this is butter. This blade is just still working fantastic. 13 shaves in. Very solidly built blade. It's, it's a pretty rigid. So the audible feedback is not as much, especially with a blade. With you know, a razor constructed by Wolfman is going to be excellent construction. Uh, so it's just locking in that blade real tight. So with a more rigid blade and a really locked in tight razor, you're going to have less feedback. So I think with this soap, really really um get some good points is in the slickness it's a very slick so post shape this isn't thrilling and i think that's probably one of my issues do i need the best post shave from just the soap no because i enjoy the effects of aftershaves and the aftershaves have been doing well um but this is slick stuff my big problem also is a lot of his scents are just very um they're a little overpowering they're a little muddy you can't really get a lot of them, but the ones that you do like, they're like really cool. Like, I don't think they're making Hollywood romance anymore, but that was actually pretty good. Spring Street was pretty good. Their Topanga Fougere is good. Um, but they're just a little too abrasive for my liking. And again, I like this black fern. Uh, so, um, it's nice. But again, it's just a, like, when I smell them, my nose tingle. And that's just a little bit of a weird sensation for me. So I always have a little bit of a nose tingle while I'm using them. Um, so I don't know if anything could be done to stop that in particular. Because um, I'm not a huge fan of that. But at the end of the day, it's not very harmful. It's just... You know, we all have our preferences. And... So Zach said Pulse Silvers were greater than this, and I was going to use the Pulse Silver, but I'm just like, I want to hurry up and get this down. I want to get 30 shades out of this blade. This, this blade and razor combination, this is a ridiculous amount of smoothness. This is nice. 
Jesus Christ. So, for those of you guys that are getting it, and can handle the little slight difference in angle, it's a nice razor. And I would have liked to test it with longer, with longer hair, but at the end of the day, not everything is going to be perfect for you. So, I'll go ahead and just be happy that I am able to use it. And I'll just make sure that uh, Zach leaves it to me in his will. Unfortunately, he's younger than me, so I'm probably going to die before him, but hey. Yeah, so better lather. Still not the densest lather that, that you'll see, but again, that's not always necessary. It's a veggie soap, so I, you know, I've noticed that veggie soaps have a tendency to be a little less dense in the lather, which is not a problem. On my neck, I want to have a little bit more focus. I ain't trying to chop myself up. I'm usually good. I don't cut myself very often. Um, but again, I have seen people on thread post threads in the groups that they have uh, had a few missteps with this razor. So, definitely going to pay it the respect it deserves and not push the issue. Very nice. This is just simply an excellent blade and razor combination, man. I, mean, I really enjoy those full, full silver, so I can imagine. Probably pretty nice. And just something about aggressive razors that sometimes I don't notice the aggression because with. It's just something about how I am and how I feel about shaving. When I could feel the blade and I constantly know where it's at, what it's doing, I feel like I have that much more control and I help it's just I feel that I get great, great performance from it. It's just um I feel very comfortable with that. So it's really good for me. A lot of nice residual slickness left from the soap. Fingers are gliding, so that's good. Um yeah, so LA Shaving Soap Company is, I, I want to say, is worth trying. You can pick it up on their website. You can pick it up at the shop. Um, again, the scents, it's subjective. I don't like most of them. And, again, even a scent that I like, again, they're just a little harsh. They're just a little strong. Um, and I usually don't like a strong scent, but, again, just something about them gives a little tinge in my nostrils. And, um, again, there's, not an offen there's nothing offensive about that one. Except for there's this one soap that smells god awful. It, is, uh, it has like Roman numerals for the name. That's the worst smelling shit I've ever smelled in my life. But aside from that, I can see all of them having something. Even Best Spoke is not bad. Best Spoke, I think, number two. That's actually not even that bad either. Um, so, we'll see in the shop. There was a gentleman, Fred, that said it's the best stuff in the world. And um, you know what? I don't think it's the best stuff in the world, but it's a solid soap. Again, it's upper middle road. Um, there's that upper echelon where that I would put like the Bear Stern Mans, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, um, Saponificio Veracino. Those are my upper uh, Sterling, Cold River Soap Works, uh, Mike's Natural. That's an upper echelon of soaps. And then there's that next group. And it's in the next group, which is not bad. There's no 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 harm in that. It's just, again, it's just not on the, uh, on the elite bunch. So um, thank you guys for joining me. One last look at the BBS1. Very nice razor. Performed fantastic. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I'm going to go to work um, just vibing. Because when I get a good shave in the morning, 
I don't shave in the morning that often, but when I do, and it's awesome like this, the whole vibe goes through the through the whole day. And um, so it's pretty nice. So thank you guys for joining me. If you liked what you've seen, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. If you want alerts for when I do a video, there's a little bell uh, down over there by the subscribe button as well. You can set that up so you'll get a an alert to your phone um, or an email as well to check out the video. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.